Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video because I had some interest on the upgrades I did in my A1s, especially with the wire clips. So I just want to go on through and talk about what I did to these so far, and I will be sure to link these down below in the description. So while it's printing, I'm just going to go through and talk about some stuff. So the first thing I did was I made these buckets, and you can go find tons of buckets on Maker World. Um, I will say it's a necessity, especially for the A1, A1 minis, because this filament is going to be coming off the sides. If you don't want to make this, then you can just use a filament uh, box, but I opted to make mine. The other thing that I will say is essential is this deflector for the filament, especially as the print goes up higher, it's going to start shooting off the side if you don't. So I have this deflector, so it hits and it will go straight down. Let's see if it will do it here in a second. Just so you can kind of get a view. Dang, that's a lot of film. All right, here we go. Let's see if it will flip off. Just like that. And so it hits this deflector and it just goes straight down to the bucket. Uh, if I was to do this again, I think I'd make this out of PETG. It's just PLA right now. If I was going to do PLA, uh, if I print mostly in PLA, I would make it out of PETG because PLA does not stick to PETG, and sometimes it does stick to this. The next thing I did was I printed off this bed protector. Um, it makes it an easier handle for you to grab. It's not that much of an upgrade, but it did come pre-sliced on the A1. I just mostly did it because I want this printer to be the blue printer and it just gives me another blue accent. All right, so next up are the wire clips and these by far I got the most interest on. And so I'm just gonna move to this next printer, the gray one over here that I'm probably gonna change from gray. But essentially all these are is these are little clips that go over these connections, these connection points because these are the weakest point in the printer. And so if these go out or they fail, then that's gonna be a pain to replace. So I just printed this off. These are all um, on Maker World for free. I'll be sure to link it down below in the description, but you snap it on, you push it down, okay? And then I twist mine around. So you just see it like that. So that's how I made it. Um, and hopefully it will make these wires last a lot longer as I use these printers. The next thing I did is I made these PTFE tubing kind of guides on the top of my printer. I am eventually gonna make a top mount for this, for my printers, but for right now, this is what I'm gonna go with because it looks, you know, it takes up a whole table. But the reason I did this is because it was the PTFE tubing and this wire, they were rubbing right here, and I didn't like that. So this just holds out the uh, the tubing away from the printer so it doesn't rub or wear down on the finish. And as it goes side to side, it does raise up, slides through. As it goes down, it will also lower. Okay, so this does move up and down. It does have a stop right here. Um, I just reused some of the screws that came with the printer that I took out that are no longer being used for anything, and I added it into there. So you can kind of upcycle or reuse those. So those are that. Um, if you guys have any more questions on what I did, feel free to ask below in the comments. Um, if you want to see more upgrades, let me know what you'd like to see upgraded and I can make that happen. Thanks for watching on Queso Builds.